more plans for our garden. I'm gonna get a serrano pepper. I already have a Thai chili pepper and I only feel comfortable with growing like chilies and herbs, so let's see how that goes. And we're getting the tall one because we need a head start. Gotta grow some jalapenos too. Yeah. like a fall herb so if I can find one later I'll go ahead and add that so I think I'm gonna stick see what's available and then I'll show you guys what I picked up they have a whole bunch of selection here like basil and sage so let's see what we decide probably get an oregano and a parsley from this trench that Mario digged out um, for part of our project, which I will be recording also. What we're doing is dumping it as the base for the bottom of our box, and then we're gonna fill the top with soil. So what I'm doing is just breaking down this dirt because there's like really big pieces compacted. And there's also some roots in here. We're gonna do a layer of just our dirt from the backyard and then we have bought some good, uh, good soil. What do they call it? Um, it's a raised bed. Uh, raised bed soil. All organic. Organic. Get those babies going right here. So, so what's we, this right here? This mesh? Yeah. It's for like gardens. A lot of people use it to like, so um, like weeds won't grow up if you're planting a nice garden. This is good also for just to hold the dirt in and it'll keep a little moisture in for, for But it still lets it breathe, right? Through yeah, the bottom. It lets it breathe. I, I left a, a few little holes at the bottom so the water can drop out. I mean, excess water that we have. And then we just, have all this dump here <laughs> from our construction that we have going. Mario's doing a really big project on our house and I'm so excited for it. Kitchen, brand new kitchen. Brand new kitchen. So yeah, just ex please excuse the mess. So we need all these, uh, all these veggies. So keep yeah. Cooking. <laughs> Mario went and got two more of the same kind of soil um, at Home Depot. Put the soil down. And then, um, take these plants out of the pots, and then we will find a home for them here. So we're hoping that they fit nicely because they are supposed to be spaced out. So we'll make it work. We're gonna put half of this bag for the first layer. We're gonna spread it out. First layer. The soil is a little more expensive. So we're gonna try and mix it in. This one has fertilizer in it, right? Yeah, it's this bag right here. Then we'll throw this bag in. And the rest of this bag on top. That's a good smell, huh? Yeah, it smells like, it's like really rich. I'm not explaining, like, it just smells good. How? How do you smell it? <laughs> it smells rich. Hopefully these guys like it.
So, what you can do too is kind of start taking them out. Set them where you want them first, okay. even in the thing. Okay. So I'm guessing I'll put like the herbs next to each other. This mm -hmm. one needs 18 to 24. Is that 18? We're gonna stagger them. Remember? Oh yeah. So like um, this, maybe like this. Come a little more this way. Like right there. There's cool. We're just testing where we're gonna put it. And we'll start playing. So we're starting this garden because I'm home so much now that I work from home and it looks like we'll be working from home for the rest of the year and I just want something to stay busy with instead of like being on my phone all day or Netflix all day. Shake it up. You're hurting her. It's fine. We're going to give her a new home. <laughs> well, there you go. It's cracking. Got my horchata latte recipe on my highlights. Okay, so that one's out. So we're just gonna do the same thing for the rest of them. And then you're supposed to do this to the roots. You're supposed to kind of loosen them up. Just give them a little squeeze so they're not compacted. This one will give some help in you soon. Because you know, I have a lot of patience. Can I be patient with these though? I know. Oh, you already got this one. Mm -hmm. This one was a habanero. Habanero. So we have our tags here. I'm going to make pretty ones, but just for the meantime. So what we got was parsley. I mean, not parsley, oregano. Yeah, I don't think that's parsley. Oregano. <laughs> and then this one's parsley. Cool little signs. For my pastas, I need a lot of parsley in my pasta. This one here doesn't have a sign, but I know that this is my Thai chili pepper. Hoping these babies will grow because they look a little weak. Um, this is the serrano pepper. This one's the jalapeno. And then this one is our habanero. Crazy if that one grows. This one says it takes about a hundred days. Really? To get Let some me peppers. See. That definitely bought the little little one now. Of course, she doesn't believe me. No, there was another one there that you were like, you wanted it, but it uh, would take forever. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I guess we'll find out how cool Mario made my box. It's, it's all water. red wood. Yeah. So, no waterproofing needed. I mean, one of these at Home Depot, I think like half the size and with no legs was about like close to 50, 60 bucks. It wasn't even this size though, it was like, like this size, like from here to here. Yeah, it was like just a little square from here to here. I mean, you just need a few tools to make it, it's not too hard. Hard part is if you don't have the tools, but not too bad. Pretty sturdy. You I happy? You yes, I am very happy. Thank you. I think you should do a tutorial on like how you made this, cause it's really okay. nice. So we have this tree like all the way in the back of our backyard. It's an, it's an avocado tree that my dad insisted that we keep. So I'm just hoping that we don't kill it. Oh. I hope it actually gives avocados. Like, are we supposed to take out all those little weeds? Or is mm -hmm. this part of the tree? You just have to leave them. 
Okay. Well, it is growing. You can see like brand new leaves right here. Right here, look. This is where you can tell when they start to come out of here. Yeah, so hopefully that's an avocado. No, 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 that's not an avocado. <laughs> that's the branch going more. Okay, bigger. it's growing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't know anything about plants. We're just we just went and picked up this mint plant from Mario's grandma's house. Just grab some of the roots and then I planted them in. Hopefully, it takes. I had to pick something on the box. It was um, starting to sink in the middle, so I just threw this leg underneath. Quick fix. Nice and flush. We're gonna add water now. Tell me if this is too much. I'm scared. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but you don't even have to squeeze like that. Like that. Okay. Like this? Mm -hmm. But I thought you want to kind of spray them, right? It's gonna sink okay. in. I think that's good. Let me just do it a little. Okay, that's ridiculous. Sorry. Someone got a little carried away with the spring. It's because they want like water on their leaves, I think. See, I didn't get this one nice and wet. You see? It'll be fine though. Are you sure? Yeah, you just gotta move that dirt next time. Later, I'm gonna read all the labels on these and see like how much I'm supposed to water them because I have a tendency of either overwatering or not watering enough. My goal is not to kill them. All right. Yeah. The ultimate mm -hmm. goal is for them to actually give. Stay alive. Stay alive and give ch chiles. We done for the day? Yeah, we're done. Right. Got our hands dirty. I actually eat some gloves. That's Thanks coming soon on Amazon. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for my box. Mario's gonna film a tutorial on how to make it, hopefully, because he's making one for Diana. So And now for my grandparents, of course. So Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. <laughs>